Hi Taurus, this is going to be a general reading for you. This is for anyone who has Taurus in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is general, so it may not resonate with all of you. And I'm going to end the reading with two oracle cards, one for advice, and then one from the Angel Answers Oracle deck where you can ask a question and receive advice from the deck. What does Taurus need to know for their highest good and only their highest good? We got two that popped out immediately. We got Death and Page of Wands. So you could be going through a transformation. Could be very healing experience for you. Magician and Five of Pentacles, yeah. So obviously there's still gonna be some kind of pain tied to this energy because usually any transformation is slightly painful. But it seems like this is something that you're ready for and possibly have manifested into your life. So you could be receiving communication or messages about this uh, transformation that's happening. What can you tell me about death? Can you tell me about oh God. King of Cups? Eight of Cups, Four of Swords, Two of Swords. Making a decision to walk away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling for you. Whether it's Tied to a water sign, possibly. Could be a Scorpio. We have Sagittarius here. Doesn't have to, but. So you're walking away from something. That can literally be anything. I mean. Um, it just, it's showing me that there is a, a decision that needs to be made that maybe you've been kind of putting off for some time. It's funny because it's very similar to Aries energy. So I don't know if you have Aries in your chart or dealing with an Aries. Um, yeah, so, but I do see, I see healing. There's a break possibly, and during this break is um, just taking a time to rest, recuperate, focusing on yourself. Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? This is can be communication in regards to what? Judgment. Five of Wands in reverse. So this is communication in regards to making a decision, judgment, which is in regards to letting go of some kind of conflict. Again, that, you know, this whole row is kind of like the Eight of Cups energy, you know, just making that decision to walk away from something that is no longer serving you. Temperance. Why is temperance here? Temperance can also, not only is it a healing type of energy, it is also a, it's a timing card. You know, like things happen when they're supposed to. Uh, it can also be you know, bringing in more balance into your life. So this leaving whatever the situation this is, is 
going to bring in more love for you. But there's a reminder to enforce boundaries. If you don't have boundaries, or not sure if you are enforcing boundaries, think about, you know, how, how do you want people to treat you? And then enforce, enforce it with, with, with anyone. Um, Queen of Swords is also an energy of being direct. So telling people how you feel, when you feel it, no need to hide how you feel. Especially if they're doing something that um, you're not in favor of. Why is the magician here? Three of swords in reverse. Well, that's, that's good energy. You're manifesting out of this painful situation or mindset. So it looks like you've done a lot of inner work, which this looks like, this is a very good reading. This is, this is good energy. Um, Five of Pentacles. Why is Five Pentacles here? Five of Cups. Again, it's it's funny. This is so similar to Aries. I cleanse the space. I don't. I think a lot of you might have Aries in your chart or dealing with an Aries. Uh, both fives, you know, fives are about change. So there's major change happening. As I say that, the tower comes out. Yeah, this is this is going to be life changing. Whatever this is, you intuitively uh, know what to do. Um. Like I said in the beginning, the Five of Pentacles, it, along with the Five of Cups, it's an energy of feeling left out in the cold, just uh, disappointment, something that you've been dealing with for, you know, over some, quite some time, something in the past, whether, I mean, it could be something that happened in the past also with the five of cups showing up I think you know the best thing to take from this reading is that it's time to you have all the resources and skills and healing you've done the healing in order to take the next step that's what the cards are showing me Okay, so I'm going to pull a oracle card for you for some additional advice. Protest. Start a revolution. Number 28. You've been looking around and noticing that the world is often unjust, but you're not sure what to do about it. Like Katniss, you need to be the first spark of your own revolution. Educate yourself, stand up for yourself. Don't forget to stand up for others, whether or not you have shared experiences. If you can speak up and do so safely, then do it. Which is perfect for this, this reading. You know, it's all about speaking up for yourself and it's also important to speak up for others I'm going to pull so think of a question you can pause right now if you want if you want to think of something and then I'm gonna shuffle these cards and see what comes out which will be the advice for your question
listen to your intuition, which is high priestess energy. Your intuition is completely reliable and accurate at this time. Listen to your own inner guidance and you can't go wrong. You can be certain that the messages you're receiving from your angels are real and trustworthy. Have faith in your feelings about the circumstances you're experiencing. Your insight into other people and their true feelings are, or motives are perfectly accurate. These, There is no need to question what you know is true. See, told ya. You already know you know what to do so i wish you luck hope this brought some clarity and guidance for you and i'll see you in the next one love ya